So I just turned 20 two days ago. Actually, it's gonna be two days. It was actually yesterday. And I'm just, it's weird. You don't really, I'm not sure. Maybe, hell, maybe you are 20 or older and you've had this experience or maybe you're coming up, you're 18 or 19 or, fuck, I don't, I don't know. But it's a weird experience because for so many birthdays, you always get asked the question, do you feel any different? Do you have like this new kind of like sense of like, do you almost feel like, are you a different person? And it's like, who are you now? Like you're 18, you're 10, you're 20. How, how, how do you feel? And it's always just like, no, nah, I don't, I don't feel anything. I'm not, I, I just feel like me. And it's weird because once you hit 20, especially if you've been doing self-improvement or you've been doing anything that if you're just into the hobby of bettering yourself, whether that's in the gym, whether it's trying to start a business, whether it's anything, you, you, you get this, you get this question to you and for me, especially, I could just see how I can go two routes. I can either go this one route and I can be this person who can kind of hold my own, be successful and find success. I can be someone that will keep following the steps that I'm doing right now, take out all the bad habits that I'm doing right now and replace them with the healthy habits. Or, I could go this other route, which is a route that I went down two years ago and before that, and it was just self-destruction. It was depressive. It was lonely. No, it, it didn't benefit me. It didn't benefit anyone around me. And in all essence, I could be like this huge and now growing group of people that are just failures. And I'm trying to think of another way to put it, but you, there almost isn't. It's people who either have been dealt a shitty hand or they've been dealt a great hand and they just don't do anything with it. A hand is a hand. You just do whatever you can. I didn't mean for that to rhyme. It's crazy. It's definitely crazy. Because now that I can say I'm two decades old and I've been on this earth for two whole fucking decades. It's, it's crazy to think of all the opportunities I've had and all of the scenarios that I was placed in. These just instances that were just at the right time, in the right place, at the right setting, at the right time of day, all this, and the decision I made from there shaped who I am now. And whether that decision was a good decision or a bad decision, it slowly, they all, these all, all these decisions were like cogs in a machine, and I am that greater machine. It's just, it's crazy. It's crazy to think that I am now 20 <laughs> and that I am in charge of my life and I don't think I ever really realized that until now. I am in full power and am, I'm in full control of what I do with my life and I have every right to say, you know what, I'm going to be an entrepreneur or I'm going to start something new. I'm going to go somewhere or do something or I can go on the other side and work 40 to 70 hours a week and be a just almost a slave to the, the man the man in the big chair and hope to retire early it was a big realization that hit what yesterday and it's crazy that it didn't hit me until now, but I'm glad it did.
because I've had moments to where I felt this way, to where I know that I needed to do something and I'm the one solely in charge of whether I'm going to do whatever I'm going to do or not, but it, it, it hit like a truck. It came to me and I'm like, holy crap, like I fully realize the scope of every decision I make. And I made a decision earlier today. I watched, I'm not even gonna fucking sugarcoat it. I watched way too much fucking YouTube today. I watched a video on self-improvement and then an hour later, I'm watching just this, this random video. And everyone will say, oh, like, no, I'm, my screen time has been good. I, I just pushed it all away and I'm not watching anything. And yeah, I fucked up already as I'm talking about making the best decisions. And it's a learning process. It's something that I know I will get better with time and with practice and with slowly getting used to the new lifestyle of being over in college, having my own schedule, figuring out everything, making a timetable, being more productive. After getting all of this stuff down, then I can really say, hey, I don't have time for this or I don't want to put my time into this. I don't want to watch YouTube. I don't want to go on social media all the time. And then you just, you push it away. And that's something that is really hard to do with people my age and you as well. You probably, you're watching this, you're on social media right now. So if you're watching this, you can't say, oh, I'm, I'm being good. I haven't been on social media today. YouTube technically like, it's like a gray area. You could say it's social media, but I would say it is. It's more entertainment, but it's all still very similar. But anyways, I think this all kind of wraps my point across and I just really wanted to mention this realization that I've had about just, I'm now, I'm now, <laughs> I was gonna say double digits. I'm way more than double digits now, but I'm just, I'm in charge. I'm in charge of what I do. And I know who I'm gonna become in the future all depends on the effort that I put in now and the effort that I'm gonna put in for these next coming days, these next coming weeks, months, years. Think of that. Think of this in your perspective. You may not be my age. You may be older than me. You may be younger than me. You might be my exact age. You might be 20 and a day old. Everything that you're doing right now Every decision that you made today is a part of that machine. It's a screw, it's a cog, it's a gear, it's something. And all of that is gonna slowly build who you are now and who you are tomorrow, who you are a year from now, who you are 10 years from now. All of these little things that you don't necessarily see. You can choose whether to go on your phone or you can choose to go outside and try and meet someone new. Who knows? Maybe the decision of going outside and meeting someone new, you end up meeting someone and they become one of your best friends and then that best friend influences you to do something or that becomes your new coworker. That becomes your new partner that you start a business with. There's so many opportunities out everywhere. You just have to take advantage of them. That's it for me. That's all I got. If your birthday was anytime soon, happy birthday. Face the things that you don't want to face.